Tofu, one is a normal non-spicy, the other one is mapo. So I always like to break up the meat, cook the meat first. Some minced ginger, some minced garlic, onions. So once it's aromatic, you can add in leaf. You can add in any vegetable you like. For me, I'm just gonna add in leaf. As usual, I always uh, serve let the soy sauce be fried to give a little bit of the xiang xiang wei. Oh, so nice. Adding some pepper. Oops, oops. For here, I'll add in a teaspoon of black bean paste. So all these are sticking here. You're just gonna add water to deglaze it. That'll be fine. You can add in wine. You can add in anything, but I'm just gonna add in water. Water. Deglaze the pan. Bring it to boil and then stick them with cornstarch. Give a taste if you like the taste. If not, you can add in a bit of sugar, a little bit of salt. Add in a little bit of sugar. Slide in the tofu gently. Try not to break it. As usual, whenever you are cutting, you are stirring, don't chop the tofu, go below here and stir a little bit. Try to break as little tofu as you can. Just let it boil for about two minutes. Not over boil it, but it gets tough. Clean cornstarch, water, and just stir it and thicken it. If you feel that it's not thick enough, you can add in a bit more cornstarch. Just boil it for another one minute or so. On low fire. Slow fire. bit of spring onions stir it well so this is ready and you just pour over rice Break up the pork. Add in garlic. And leek. 
put around it to fry it. A little bit of the spicy bean paste. You can add as much as you want. And a slight sugar. Stir it well until it's very, very aromatic. You don't need to put pepper unless you want to because it's already going to be spicy. Water. Some wine would be good, but not for today. Bring it to boil. Gently. Give a good stir from below without breaking the tofu. Let it boil for about two minutes so that the tofu can absorb the flavor into it. Stirring the cornstarch water to thicken. Slowly. Then turn to low fire for another one minute. Add in the spring onions. And the dish is ready. Over rice as usual. And if you like it spicier, add in some chili oil. It will be just right. A little bit of chili oil would be great for colors. Different tastes. One is uh, mapo tofu with chili oil and spicy bean paste, and then we have this just black bean paste tofu. Both are equally full body, but if you like it to be spicy, you just go with the chili oil. You don't need much to eat with it; just a spoon, and the whole thing is slithery down your throat. Don't know. Let's eat. Look at this, how soft the tofu is and the leek. Just go with a little bit of rice. You don't need too much. And then you eat it. It's gonna be so delicious. Leek, get the tofu, get the rice all in one mouth. Different tastes. One is uh, mapo tofu with chili oil and spicy bean paste. And then we have this just black bean paste tofu. Both are equally full body, but if you like it to be spicy, you just go with the chili oil. You don't need much to eat with it, just a spoon, and the whole thing is slithery down your throat. Don't know. Let's eat. Look at this, how soft the tofu is and the leek. Just go with a little bit of rice. You don't need too much. And then you eat it. It's gonna be so delicious. Have two different tastes. One is uh, mapo tofu with chili oil and spicy bean paste. And then we have this. Just black bean paste tofu. Both are equally full body, 
but if you like it to be spicy, you just go with the chili oil. You don't need much to eat with it, just a spoon, and the whole thing is slithery down your throat. Let's eat. Look at this, how soft the tofu is and the leek. Just go with a little bit of rice, you don't need too much, and then you eat it. It's gonna be so delicious.